And I invite your attention to the scriptures from the Old Testament, from the prophet Isaiah, beginning at chapter uh, 30, <coughs> excuse me, chapter 35. Singing those high notes kind of <laughs> put a strain in my voice, it looks like. Uh, Isaiah chapter 35, we're going to read the, the whole chapter. This is the promise that God makes through his prophet Isaiah to the people of Judah that though he comes against their sin in judgment, he has in mind, he, he, he has a future plan for them that, um, how does the Bible put it elsewhere? Eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor has entered into the imagination of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. And that's what he describes here, the things he has prepared for those who love him. So attend to these words, if you will, Isaiah 35, beginning at verse 1. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who have an anxious heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf of the deaf unstopped then shall the lame man leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy for waters break forth in the wilderness